Hello everyone! In this video tutorial, we will walk you through our listening section in Social Baker Suite. Your fans and followers are not the only audience interacting with your brand on social. Often they won't post directly to your wall or tweet at you, but you can still find out what is being said about your brand, products, services, or campaigns using listening. So let's dive right in. Within Social Baker Suite, you will be able to find the listening in the top bar of our analytics section. When you click on it, you'll be directed to the listening dashboard, which is our home base right here in listening. And you'll find other five categories in this section, content, audience, mentions, and listening settings. Now, if this is the first time you're using listening, you'll be asked to activate it first by connecting a Twitter account. It doesn't need to be your brands necessarily. It could be your personal Twitter profile. We just need a Twitter token so we can pull information such as tweets, mentions, and users. Once you do that, you're ready to start setting up the keywords you're interested in monitoring. So let's head over to listening settings. In listening settings, you'll be greeted by a handy guide right here on top, guiding you through a setup. So the first thing is we'll need to add queries, which are the actual keywords or phrases you'd like to monitor. Just click on add new query, and this form will pop up where you can specify what kind of mentions it is you're looking for. You'll need to give it a name so you can identify this query later. Select if you'd like to search for these mentions in Facebook, Twitter, or both. Something to keep in mind is when we're talking about tracking mentions on Facebook, it's only going to count and display those mentions made on Facebook's pages. You won't find mentions made by individuals due to Facebook's privacy policies. Next up, we'll need to choose our query. So what are we actually looking for? We have three different categories to choose from, keyword, mention, or hashtag. And when you're setting up your query, you can also mix and match. Maybe you're looking for a specific keyword, like Olympics. But you can also add a mention, so that you only get those tweets or posts that include the keyword Olympics, but that are also mentioning at Team USA, or using the hashtag Olympics. And then you can see there's a few options to each of these. So for each one, I can choose to include or exclude this particular query. This could come in handy if you're a brand and want to check out all the mentions of your product, but exclude those that are already tagging your profile, since most likely you already saw those in your own mentions. But exploring what is being said about your brand when it's not directly tweeted at you could be interesting. Then to the left hand side you will find our AND or OR option. So if you leave it as AND and leave all these as include, everything that is going to be pulled in is going to have to have Olympics as a keyword, mention at Team USA, and use the hashtag Olympics. You can of course switch some of them to exclude, so maybe I only want to pull in those tweets that include the keyword Olympics and the hashtag Olympics, but exclude all tweets that are mentioning Team USA. Lastly, down here you will find the option to choose a language and a country, so maybe I'm only interested in pulling in mentions in English, and that come from the USA. You can also choose to leave these options as any, so that you get all tweets and posts that include these queries regardless of language and country of origin. Once you've selected all your options, just click on Add Query. Done! Now the next step is to add your topics. Think of topics as folders where you can store all of the mentions and information brought in by a group of queries. So maybe by now you've added several queries having to do with the Olympics. You can create a new topic called Olympics and drag all queries that have to do with this event under the topic. This will come in handy when analyzing the information. You can use topics to filter out information from a specific campaign or event, so you can have all your numbers pertaining to a specific campaign neatly organized. When you're done, simply click on Add Topic and you're done with your setup. Once we've set up our queries and topics, we can go back to our listening dashboard. And here up top you can see that we have five different columns that we can play with to find the information we're actually looking for. Right now I'm going to set it up so we can analyze specifically those mentions coming in from my Olympics topic since February 9th. You can choose to analyze mentions from a specific platform, topic, query, country, or language. Remember to set up the time range you wish to analyze, and since our listening tool works in real time, you can also choose to see those mentions that have come in today. Now something to keep in mind is we do not have historical data when it comes to listening. This is to say that when you add a query, that is the moment that we're going to start tracking that particular query. 
So if you have a specific campaign you're interested in tracking, remember to set up your queries before the campaign starts. Right away in my listening dashboard, I can check out my executive summary, the total mentions and authors for the topic I chose, which one was my busiest and my quietest day, what was the top query within my topic, the top country and language tweeting or posting about it. If I scroll down, I can see the evolution of mentions per platform. Our quick summary of topics, queries, and the top five mentions made by users or profiles with the largest audience. And also the top five authors by number of mentions. So who's talking about this a lot, regardless of their following? Finally, we can check out our top social platform. Then I can go back up and dig in the particular options, such as content, audience, and mentions. In content, I can analyze which one of my queries has had the most mentions, and a breakdown of all queries within my topic. Audience will show me a breakdown of who is actually talking about the queries and topics I set up, what country is tweeting or posting the most, the country versus language breakdown, the authors and mentioned users, and the top mentioned users by number of mentions. So which users are being tagged when speaking about our topic or query? For the Olympics, we might find some of the most popular athletes, for example. Finally, we can jump into our mentions. Here we will be able to see what exactly people are talking about. So we're pulling in mentions from the Olympics. So what are people really saying about the Olympics? Check out every piece of content in detail, including who's the author of the tweet, and the option to check it out later on Twitter. The language, country, how many followers the author has, and also how many profiles is he or she following. Something to keep in mind is that there is no limit as to how many queries or how many topics you can monitor. When using listening, you will be able to pull in as many as 50,000 mentions for free each month. If you'd like to increase the number of the mentions available, please contact your account manager. Start checking out what people out there are saying about your brands or campaigns. Set up your listening section today.